June the 10th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at Google Earth. Very good representation of, as far as the shadow from the sunset and things like that that are happening on our planet and cloud cover. You can add different layers. And this would kind of be part three of the tilting of our planet. And there's no way to deny that after the maybe beyond a hundred thousands of comments in the last uh, couple of videos about it, part one and part two, about everyone noticing the same thing. The sun is not setting as far west as it should be. And so I think in part two, the last one, we talked about the fact that if the sun is setting further to the north, and I'm going to kind of lock into this, then the earth is tilting more this way. You understand what I'm saying? That way, then the, this northern s sunset would make sense. And there's more information coming in from a group of people that we have all kind of aligned together in the last 10 or 12 years. Different information that aligns when it needs to, and that's remarkable, but I guess that's the way our Father in Heaven works. So... Again, I don't want to get in too much detail right now. It's late. I'm kind of tired, and you can hear huskies probably barking in the background, and your dogs more than likely will react. But to me, it's a joy of life, these pups are and these, these animals. Anyway, so if we're seeing the sun set further to the north, the earth is tilting like this closer to the sun, and that would make sense. All right, now, last year was a very hot summer, right? This year, the oceans are warmer. We know that the fourth angel is going to make it very hot here. And by the way, if you're not familiar, and it's not in the uh, New Testament, the name of the fourth angel, but he is the angel of repentance. And when he pours that vial out upon the earth, men or scorch, but they fail to repent. So it, that kind of makes sense too. But the information coming in from one of our group, and I'm not going to say his name yet, I don't have permission, and I'm not going to divulge too much information except what we already know is going on, and I'm going to add a little bit in of the new stuff. But we know the earth, again, tilting forward like that. That's why we're getting the further north sunset. Now, last year was very hot. This year is going to be hotter. We can tell by the temperatures of the ocean. What if that this tilt was going to increase over the next 18 months incredibly fast? There's a lot of factors that would come in there. And again, I don't want to, uh, I'm not going to throw anybody's name out there yet until I have permission and I would rather them come forward with their own information because they deserve the credit. The only reason I'm coming here now is because you and I have been watching this for a long time. Now let's pull this up just a little. The, here's the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, and the Tropic of Capricorn here. The Equator normally, and it is always, the closest to the sun. That's why it's the hottest place, and that's why you have the tropical convergent zone and everything. But the equator is the hottest part of our planet. It's closest to the sun. Now, if the Earth is tilting this way, and we're dealing with uh, the gravity, magnetics, and everything else, as far as the connection between the Earth and the sun, then the equator, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn would be moving north. This makes perfect sense because last year the heat was unbearable and it could very well possibly get worse this year because the temperature of the oceans, now that's 75% of the Earth's surface, right? So you've got a big heater involved there. Now with this tilt there's no way that this equator, Tropic of Cancer, is not moving north because the equator is not a geological lock-in. It's, it's tied to the tilt and the angle of the sun and the energy coming from the sun. So if we're tilting forward this way, the equator is moving north. 
that has a lot of repercussion, guys, because the heat is going to move north. And the information I'm getting, again, just kind of on the lowdown right now, is that the equator, within 18 months, and we're seeing rapid tilting now, you can tell it by the sunset changes, will have moved so far, far north, guys, that it will be in Kentucky in 18 months. Now talk about the angels sounding those trumpets. In a battle, guys, the trumpets don't wait a long time if they're, either, they're sounding for different reasons, either charge or retreat or move to the left or flank to the right, whatever it is. But they happen in rapid succession, and that's what we're seeing. So if we have this equatorial change in 18 months, they're saying Kentucky. Now that's going to place this entire area into the desert. All of the more temperate zone will move north. That means a lot of the ice that you see in Greenland and further north will be more temperate. It will melt. This pole will change. It will move further towards Russia. Now, guys, think about this. Another thing, and you've heard me talk about it for years, is that there's a phenomenon known as the equatorial bulge, and it happens here. If you put, uh, you think about a merry-go-round, and it gets spinning fast, and you're holding on to the edge, and maybe they don't have them anymore, but when I was in uh, elementary school back with Methuselah, you, it would try to throw you off the um, merry-go-round, just and guys, that's what we have now, according to satellite data, as they ping off the surface of the ocean, that at the equator, which I think has shifted in the last few years more than this map, that the ocean out here, because of that centrifugal force of that uh, rotation, is 400 feet higher than it is when you get up along the U.S. 400 foot bulge equatorial bulge and so now we and I've talked about it for 10 years at least that if there was a sudden pole shift then you would see a 400 foot wave move from here along the equator across the planet in both directions now and I was thinking that would be maybe fast you know sudden shift and all but if you got 18 months and listen to me of this shift from here up into Kentucky then you're going to start seeing sea rises you think of 400 feet in 18 months someone do the math and how quickly it would accelerate would be hard to uh, put into that mathematical equation but you're talking about several feet starting to accelerate now again I'm not going to go into detail about where the information is coming from. You're going to find out pretty quick, but it makes perfect sense, guys, in what we're seeing, in the, again, in the sunset, changing more to the north. So again, let me back this out. So we're dealing, again, Tropic of Cancer coming down through just north of Cuba. But the equator, think about this in 18 months, and God told us that it would be by heat not by flood and when you shift this line it goes again through Ecuador and around the planet you shift it that far north that quickly not only is the climate going to change so drastically that no one will be able to adapt without migration but you're talking about a possible 400 foot rise in the oceans in the Gulf of Mexico because of that equatorial bulge because of the uh, again the merry-go-round effect that centrifugal force but the heat that we endured last summer and I don't care what anybody says now I can say this for 68 years I've never seen it like that and I've been in the south and been on we I've always been mostly on a farm and worked very hard since I was a very young kid dealing with the heat never have I seen it like it was last year continuous and I'm trying to keep all the huskies cooling we do they're in the air condition in here with us 
but is just unbearable. Now we're maybe talking about another season like that because what's happening? We know, and you saw from the last report about possible hurricanes forming and tropical storms, that if the earth is tilting forward this way, this section of the Atlantic is warming up while it's facing the heater. But guys, and if it shifts this quickly, and it, that would make sense because the way the politicians are going and the way the Babylonian Empire is spread across our planet, God is tired of it. So this rapid movement and rapid change could be right along with the sounding of the trumpets, one after the other going into battle. Not waiting years, a millennium, or, thou, or hundreds of years, or whatever, between the blast of those trumpets. Trumpets are battle calls, warnings, either attack or retreat. You guys, think about that. Just if this works out and what we're talking about, it makes perfect sense. In other words, the equator is shifting north, the earth is tilting this way. That's why we're seeing the sunset difference. I hope it makes sense. I consider this part three of the tilting planet. Get more information, we'll let you know. But guys, start marking. Just like you would see with Stonehenge, tree lines or mountain ridges or whatever you're dealing with on the sunset. Now, it's going to change from winter to summer. We know that. But I'm telling you right now that this year, the change is very noticeable with the solar panels that I showed you in the video earlier. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.